What's happening people? This is Rohit here and I'm back with another a day in my life vlog at Ragas Newark. And right now the time is 6.45 and I'm on my way to the train station. We got the lower Manhattan skyline. The sun is going to rise in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Train to Newark Penn Station. We got the Manhattan skyline and you can see that the sun is slowly rising. And look at the sky colors. So bright. Wow. Newark. You can see the Newark Penn Station from the outside and now I'll be walking to my campus. That's the campus shuttle. You can see the Prudential Center and 67 the bus that I used commuting 35 degrees. I'm almost there at the campus. Time right now is 7.20. It's been a nice and long week. Yesterday we had the last day of classes. So today is like a reading day and the finals are going on. But still I decided to shoot it. I'm like, yeah, it's been a while for a day in my life vlog. And what happens, I'm still shooting this. I call this my self-care street. I'm having some time just for myself before I'm on campus. I am on my campus. This is my building. Look at it, it's so nice and empty. I'm here at Engelhard Hall. Going to the lab for my shift. Logged in and my work shift and the time right now is 7.30 and my shift is supposed to start at 7.50 so I actually clocked in early so till then I'll be talking to my parents and for those who don't know I work as an IT consultant so I'll be managing this lab assisting with the walk-ins from 7.50 the calls will also start coming taking a mini break by walking in this corridor some people watching time never mind everyone are busy studying for the finals Time right now is 11.30 and I'm going to clock out of my work shift. I was just doing some readings and not even a single person has walked into the lab today. Got so much of alone time and self-care for me. The weather is just amazing and the campus looks deserted. Usually this area will be busy, people going from one place to another for the classes. But then because it's a reading day, it's empty and I'm the only one going for work shift. And right now, I'm going to another building. So oh, thank you. Right now, I'm going to another building uh, because I'm also LGBT radar intern on campus. So I'll be going to the Pride Lunch and we are having our own secret Santa. So for that, I have to go and hide the gift. So I'll be doing that. And I'm crossing the Ruggers, Newark, Kash. No, whenever I cross the Ash, it's like, my building, my campus, my safe space. Like, it's all about the mental thing. Like, whatever you do, you do it with passion. And like, whether you have people or not around you. For the dinner life there. So now I'm going to Conklin Hall. The Intercultural Resource Center and on this side we have the Pride Lounge. I have to swipe my ID to enter. And this is the Pride Lounge at Ruggers Newark, providing a safe space for all the people. I will be back here for my office hours from 2 to 4. Now so I'm on my way to JBJ Soul Kitchen to volunteer there till 2 pm. The campus is empty and the campus is mine. Till we enter the pole ropes in campus center. Wow, de-stress fest going on and the theme is Polar Express at the kickoff here yesterday. JBJ So Kitchen. Ta -ta -ta -ta. We just opened at 11.30 and every week I also record a JBJ food review video. But this week we have Peruvian cuisine so you can check that out on YouTube. Right now I'm going to spend some time to volunteer. It's like my safe space here on campus to allow to spread love through food and JBJ is what? They do exactly so. I'm like, hope it's delicious. Menu for this week, we got Peruvian cuisine. A wonderful chef at JBJ. Minnelli, please say hi. Hello. The food for today. Two of the main course options for this week, steak and chicken. And now I'll be serving them to the customers. Minnelli is going to make my plate for today. Got mashed potatoes. Then chickpeas too. Sorry. So, what is it called? Sofrito. Sofrito, yeah. Oh my god, I either call it stew or curry, I'm like, so free so. Yes. You got chicken, pollo. Pollo. And we got, got Mike, one of the staff members, back, and Carney. And thank you, you're the best. Got some garnish and presentation, Minnelli, you don't have to impress me. You already like the chef, she doesn't have to. Try and impress and stuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is my plate for today. Volunteering is done and I got my special plate. I'm going to enjoy this. I mean, the whole cause of food insecurity and all of it is just amazing. And now I get to eat amazing food. And every time I come to volunteer at JBJ, every week I'm going to. I'm tasting different cuisines as well. It's like win win. That's it for today. Rice pudding with some whipped cream. 
and cinnamon stick because we are talking about how much I love cinnamon. Oh, so it's lovely. so sweet that she gave me that. Volunteering at JBJ is done. The, right now the time is 2 p.m. and I am on my way to go to the bride lounge for my office hours. We also have weekly meetings, so I'll be going there and doing some video editing and some class readings. We got this helicopter hovering above. Oh, fitness stuff. Oh, no. Fitness gloves. Oh. Too much of fitness stuff. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, these two wow. is something which I had in mind to get. So this is something whoever got this has put a lot of thought into it. Because this is something I really wanted, reflex ball and hand grip. This was something I was planning to get for Christmas. This was something I wanted to get for New Year, so whoever got it. Aww. That's a lot of and this also I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I'll get one of this when I go to Walmart, so I'm happy I got all three in one. Who should it be? Julia or Priyanka? Julia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Time right now is 4 p.m. and I got the bread lounge just for myself for my final office hour of this semester. I also got a full box of cupcakes. It was 5:30 p.m. and it's already dark outside. Whew. And it's also cool. I love the winter. There's separate winter vibe to it. And I'm going to Cyber Lounge Lab for the remainder of the shift. And then there's late night breakfast at 9 p.m. So till then I was like one and a half, two hours of shift. And then I'll be doing some readings and working on my own stuff. I love to keep reading. And then there is UFC 296 press conference as well. I'm super excited about that. But the campus is super, super, super empty. Look at this. Stepped out for a short walking break. Time right now is 7 p.m. and I just clocked out of my work shift and I have one hour before the UFC press conference starts. I'm just going to relax for a bit and walk around the campus. Look at how empty the PRCC Cold Robinson Campus Center is. Just taking a walk outside of PRCC. Oh, the weather is amazing. I should make a compilation of every single time I say weather is amazing just in this video. Time is 8 p.m. and I'm on my way to the library. Time right now is 9 p.m. and I'm on my way to go to Stone Street Dining Hall, which is the dining hall of Ruggers Newark. And we'll be having a late night breakfast event where they're giving food. I got dinner for today covered as part of OSLL, de stress fest events. Going to be a lot crowded for sure. I can see the huge line. It's like a biannual tradition of Ruggers Newark. Got the security. Look at this huge line. Got a DJ. I'm at the wing station. Can I get two of each wings, please? Two each. Yeah. Yeah, look at these wings. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Look at this wings collection. Thank you. Yeah, I can take thank you. And I'm going to this is my plate. Look at the people. <laughs> Got the ice cream station. Back in front of the Ruggers Newark Arch. And I'm walking back to Newark Penn Station. The time right now is 10.30 p.m. I just went there. I mean, I can say the difference between each semester's uh, late night breakfast, yeah, how they improved, what all uh, changes has happened. But I don't want to go too deep or comment on all of that. I'm like, each year, the budget is also very different for each one. So I'm like, yeah, I went there. I focused on my food. I was like eating. I didn't talk to anyone. But yeah, I mean, there's a difference in being friendly and friends with people. So I kind of understand that difference. And I'm also very socially selective. But yeah, I mean, I really needed that food, I guess. Because whole day, my ear and my eyes were fluttering. I'm like, I don't know. This whole day, whole week, I'm like, I'm putting myself into too much of work. And all of that, I get that. I need to have like my own self-care day as well, which is going to be this weekend. In midst of finals, but uh, after that food, I feel like so fresh, full of energy once again. I'm in my self-care street and I can see police cars around. We got a mail this week regarding traffic advisories. And through rumors, I got to know that they are shooting Joker 2 movie. And Joker 1 also, they shot a few scenes around here in Newark, downtown Newark. See the... Got the Christmas tree at downtown Newark. And one, two, three. Three streets are blocked for the film shooting. 
you saw me walking in the same street in the morning and the weather is just amazing right now it's 0 degree celsius newark penn station at night look at how empty the train station is and the next train is in 28 minutes the time right now it's 10:51 and while waiting for the train to come i'll be talking to my parents for the second time at night this is how it usually is whenever i commute my way back home you can see the manhattan skyline at night time right now is 11:45 and you can see the world trade center behind me the symbol of resilience and today i spent a total of 17 hours outside of home I'm walking back home now. See, I go on early morning walks as well as late night walks. And during late night walks, I have my solo dance as well as singing sessions happening. I completed my night routine and the time right now is 12.10 and I crossed 6 miles of walking for today. And throughout this day, you would have noticed that I was alone and just friendly and I don't have any close friends on my campus, but I'm not complaining. It's all about the mindset. It's all about the perspective. And even tomorrow, I have a super long day. It's like 15 hours outside of home and I'm super excited about it. Thank you all for watching. See you all in another one. Till then, bye from me. Oh,